What's up everyone, Kevin Allen here from DFS Army, and today we're taking a look at how to use the DFS Army Domination Station Optimizer to attack single game NFL showdowns on DraftKings. All right, guys, this is a tutorial, and I've got the 2021 opening night game loaded up on the Domination Station Optimizer. And today I'm just going to show you how to use it to create uh, a large number of lineups to attack the mass multi-entry tournaments. As you can take a look at DraftKings this week, they've got a million dollar to first uh, massive contest going on, $10 to enter. So we want to attack that. We want to go after that million week one. And this is how you do it. So Let's just take a look at the Domination Station Optimizer real quick, and I'll go over all of the features that you have specifically designed for Captain Mode. We've had incredible success in Captain Mode. This has been, I think, one of the best builds that we have for the Optimizer. All of our builds are awesome, but this one is really, really special. So let's take a look at how it's done. Okay, so when we open it up, the first thing we see are is the game and the spread, get an idea of the game total, um, informational stuff. Down here, we've got our basic settings. So we're going to take a look at some of these. We're not messing with any of these captain salary range, captain fantasy points range. Not messing with that. Salary cap, I'm not messing with that. Projected ownership, really not messing with that either. Total number of lineups we're going to be making. Let's, for the purpose of this video, we'll set it to 50 so we don't have to kind of wait too long between runs as I show examples of how to do it. A um, couple other details here. We always use tournament mode. Tournament mode um, spreads out exposures um, in a in a rear looking instead of front looking way. It's just better math. Um, I won't get into it uh, too intensely. We're using our standard projection. You don't want to use ceiling projections here. And for the purpose of showdowns, you could choose how many uniques per lineup you want. I use one unique because I'll be generally making 150 lineups, and there aren't necessarily that many combinations. Okay, before we get into anything else, stacking options. One of the best things we have going on are the stacking options for showdown. So one of the things like an automatic rule I might wait, make here. So for example, if Tom Brady is captain, no less than two of, and we're just going to name, spit out his, his uh, weapons, his pass catchers, right? So if Tom Brady is going to be your captain, he's not running touchdowns in. I don't really generally use quarterbacks as captain, but if I did, it would be Mike Evans, it would be Godwin, it would be Gronk, and it would be Antonio Brown. So we can make a rule to be with at least two of his pass catchers. Boom, made a rule, right? I might do the same rule for Dak Prescott and uh, include his pass catchers. Include the, the tight ends here, even some pass catching running backs, potentially like a Pollard. You know, he could catch a touchdown. You know, you've got Dalton Schultz. And uh, who's that other one? It doesn't even matter. I forget his name. It doesn't matter. Anyway, so you want two of his pass catchers along with him. Some other rules I'll sometimes make. Um, here, and I, I don't recommend going too crazy with making a lot of rules. Quite honestly, a lot of times you rule yourself out of a win, but one rule I do like to make is the no kickers, no two kickers rule. So I'll have a rule that says if suck up is flex, then exactly zero of zero line. But this rule will do. Um, this is a really important to understand. You can, A, you can start your rule off with a flex or a captain. So you can make any kind of rule that you want. And you can have negative rules. So an exactly zero of, which means we'll never pair the two kickers in the same lineup. We can, we can probably do the same thing with defenses because... Cowboys is flex, exactly zero of 
fucks, right? I don't allow two defenses in the same lineup. They basically never win. So um, basic rules for start. Now, next point. We've got to control our captain. Now, technically right now, we can just start to make lineups. I can, you know, make a couple of adjustments, uh, a couple of customizations based on whatever I think. You know, maybe I don't like a defense like the Cowboys here. Maybe I'm not a big fan of OJ Howard. Make a couple of adjustments there. And then I can run my 50 lineups raw. I don't mind doing this because it gets us a look at kind of what the chalk might be. Note what happens, though, when you run raw projections. This is funny, but true. When you run raw projections, the highest raw projected player is almost always a quarterback. And so what you what you end up getting is a ton of quarterback um, in the captain position. But our study has shown that quarterback is not the best player to use at captain. The most likely to win at captain is a favored wide receiver, followed by favored running back, followed by favored quarterback. So wh what I like to do is, you know, without researching a slate, I like to, I definitely always control for the captain position. The way you do that is you click on the captain tab right here. This will open up exclusively players on the captain position. So note the captain tag and the flex tag are different, right? So if I set a minimum exposure of Zeke Elliott and captain at 10%, I'm going to get 10% of my lineups with Zeke Elliott as the captain. If you look at flex, Note, he does not have that same minimum on flex. So we control for captain and control for flex completely separately. One of the things I, the first thing I do is I'll remove any players that I don't have any intention of allowing to be a captain for me. I'll just get them, get them out. It's usually these turds at the bottom, right? I'm not playing any of these guys at captain. No OJ Howard, no Cameron Bray, none of that. No Cowboys. I don't play defenses. I don't play kickers at, at captain. So let's see if we've got pretty much, you know, I don't really see tight ends being a very good captain either. Ron Jones Jr. Not that great. But so next thing I'm going to do is set my captain exposures. So we already said we favor wide receivers. So we'll just get some exposure to our wide receiver group here. Very important thing to note that not go over a hundred percent. If you're trying to force more than a hundred percent of total players at captain, you're trying to force more players than exist into a spot. So you got to count them up 10, 25, 40, 55, 70, 85. So I've got 15% more to work with. And I might go, let's say, you know, something like this, 10 to 5. Now, this is not designed to be a specific for that this slate tutorial, but rather a how to use this tool tutorial. So once we've got our captain exposure set, we're going to give it a run and take a look at this beautiful exposures box down here where I can take a look at my exposures based on captain and flex. So when I click here, I can see all my captain exposures and note that for the most part, it mirrored what I asked for. The extra lineups that I didn't account for in the math, I, I, I must have counted wrong, um, went to Tom Brady because Tom Brady's a goat and a little bit to um, Dak Prescott. Again, quarterbacks are always... Look, notice the, the mean projection for the quarterbacks. Significantly higher than other players. That's just why... Because quarterbacks have a higher floor, but the ceiling just is not as high as the wide receivers, which is why we prefer them. Um, in the flex, then you have your exposure box here. We could see all of our flex exposures. Now, here's a really cool thing. You can control for your min and max exposure in the flex as well. So let's say we have 92% DAC in the flex and 8% DAC at captain. I say, well, that's a lot of DAC. I don't want them in all my lineups. I can set a max exposure however I want. Same thing for Tom Brady. Same thing for Antonio Brown. Maybe he's a good value i don't know like i said i have not looked at the numbers at all this is very strictly how to use this tool so um when we want to control for max exposure in the flex you've got a tab over right down here to the flex set your max exposure we run it again and you're going to see all of those guys um not surpassing the maximum amount that we put in place for them so there's dak at 50 percent there's 
Antonio Brown at 40%. There's Tom Brady at 40%. Now, this is just about it. When you're done running your line, and, and after this, I'm going to get into an advanced, an advanced stage. But when you're done running your lineups, feel good about them. You feel good about your captain exposures. You feel good about your flex exposures. You're going to download your lineups. I like to name them so that I, I know what the file name is. So I might say DraftKings, um, NFL, Thursday, you know, and then throw the date in there. So it's what, 9 eight, right? That's what Thursday, I think it's the eighth or the ninth. I don't even know. Nine, nine, whatever it is. Um, so I'll, I'll name my file so I can find it and you're good to go. You can take that file and upload it directly to DraftKings or what you could do is reserve lineups and then take this file and paste the results of the file into your DraftKings, uh, edit, edit file. So those are the basics. There's one other thing I actually want to cover here, and that's actually um, a little bit, a little bit of a trickier rule. So somebody asked me, and, and this is totally different. Some of you guys have asked, how can I set up five to one or you know four two type stacks? The only way we we don't have a setting for that. The only way to do it is to use these rules in a creative way. So you would make a rule that said, and you you could only run one type of stack at a time. So basically, I'm not going to do it here because it's a lot of names to type, but you're going to basically combine players from the team with five others from the same team. Do we have specific captain ownership? And yes, we we yes we do, Samuel. We will have captain ownership uh, projections and flex ownership projections. So when this slate is live, we don't have projected ownership right now, but this is really cool. When you want, when it's live, you will be able to see next to your exposure, our projected ownership for all of these players right here. And it's separate for captain and flex. So yes, we do project that. Um, so Chris, you're asking, you don't know how to play the showdown, bro. Showdown is what we win the most here in DFS army. So, um, this is the format that you want to play the most often. Um, just keep in mind, though, it's very winnable. The FanDuel version, there's a lot of ties, so it's very, very risky to max enter, specifically on FanDuel, like 150 lineups. You want to lower the, lineup, the number of lineups that you're making on FanDuel because ties often cause situations where you win the tournament and you still actually don't make money. Uh, in DraftKings, that's less common, but you know, you got to usually play some turd that you wouldn't think about. You got to make a lot of lineups to try to win one of these gigantic contests. If you're not into making a lot of lineups, I don't suggest using the Domination Station at all for this. I suggest handcrafting and using some of the strategies that we've come up with for handcrafting lineups. But one little quick thing I want to show how to do. It's really not the easiest thing to actually display. But you can make rules. Uh, I'll, I'll do it a different way. Player combination rules. Stack between zero and four of. So let's say I want to let's say I want to make a four two stack. I literally have to name every single player on the Cowboys. Let's say I was using a Cowboys four two stack. We got to go through it one at a time. All the players that we want to use from the Cowboys. Did I get them all? Did I get them all? I don't even know. Like I said, I haven't really, uh, I haven't exactly um, prepped for this specific slate, but um, you could do, so let's say I wanted to do a 4-2 Cowboys stack. I can make this rule. Dak, Amari, Zeke, Jar there's more players here, Pollard. And Dalton Schultz, I think. So I can make this rule. Stack between zero and four of these guys in all lineups, boom. Now... This might conflict with my min exposure at the captain, but let's see what happens. 
we should get Yeah, it's conflicting with my min exposure, so we'll have to take a look at that. But hmm. gotta look at that. Actually, a better way to do it. So we have to do it up here with this rule. We can't use this bottom rule for that. So we'd have to do it up here. And basically, it's the same idea. You'd have to basically make a rule that said Dak Prescott with exactly three of for each player. So you can essentially set up rules up top here. I don't want to do it now. It's going to take too long, but that could kind of create different types of stacks that are three and four person stacks. Um, that's going to have to be the way that it's done. So you can get down, you can make the specifics, but for the most part, I don't do it that way. I just run my stacks um, based around who the captain is using these basic rules. I usually find that making too many rules will rule you out of a win. So standard rules that I do like to use, though, no two kickers together, no two defenses together. Of course, quarterback with, you know, multiple pass catchers from the same team. And if I run a wide receiver like Amari Cooper, then I might make a rule. I might not to stack him with their quarterback. Usually I don't, but you can make that rule as well. We have statistics that kind of show what rules have won more, more often than not, but rules are made to be broken. There's nothing that's super consistent. So I found that making too many rules often rules you out of a win. Anyway, that'll do it for this breakdown. How to use the domination station optimizer to attack showdowns on DraftKings. Again, if you're watching this ahead of week one, big contest this week, so it's a great time to try it out. Good luck this week, everyone.